Let's get started. What we will be doing in this video is starting from the example project, remixing the project and giving it a name, um, editing the text using HTML, and also editing a bit the style of the text using CSS. Um, and so all of this we will be doing on a platform called glitch.com. And Glitch is a free hosting service and a lot of other things for making your own uh, simple websites and small applications. Um, and it's really great because it lets you directly edit the source code and also see the page live next, next to the code that you're editing. Um, it runs all online and it, it also makes it easy for other people to see the source code of what you made and remix and make their own versions. And so um, you will, it will be easiest if you make an account on glitch.com in order to do this. I think you can still do it without making an account, but then your work won't be saved. So um, I definitely recommend making an account on glitch.com. Um, and then going to this link, which will be in the description of this video, that's glitch.com edit interactive music video. Um, and so what you see should be similar to what you see on my screen right now. Um, and, and you can see kind of the layout of a glitch project is on the right we have the web page. Um, here we have, uh, we can see all the files that are in the project. Um, and then at the top, there's a name, and if you click on the name, there's some uh, actions that you can do. And so the first thing that we'll do is, uh, click, at the, is click at the name at the top left, uh, and then click Remix Project. And so what that will do is create your own version of the project. Um, and sometimes it takes a little time to load. Um, and you'll see in the top left, it automatically gives a name to your project. Um, and so this is going to end up being the URL of your project. So mine right now will be stripeinvitedexperience.glitch.com. Um, you're welcome to leave it like that, but maybe you have a name for the video or the website that you want to make. And so uh, maybe... Uh, I think I'm going to make a, I'm, I'm going to use some cat videos and some cactus videos in, in my um, video clips in my video. So I think I'm going to call it cats and cactuses. Um, let's see. And cactuses. Um, let's see. Oops. Cats and cactus. Let's do that. Okay. And then you could change the description if you want. Um, so now you'll see that the name changed up here. And also if I go show in a new window, it's going to show the website in its own window. Um, but for now, let's go back to this editor view um, and start editing, editing the site. Um, and so first thing, what I want to do is edit this text that's on top. Um, and you'll see on the left, there's a few different files. And um, the file we're going to start out with is this first one called index.html. Um, and you might have heard the word HTML before. Um, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And it was uh, a type of code or a type of text that was made basically when the web was made. Um, and uh, what it is, is it's, it's text, but it has some sort of tags or markations within the text that tells your browser to do different things with different aspects of the text. Um, don't worry too much about HTML. This isn't a class on like learning 
HTML. But what I will say is basically every website on the internet has some some semblance of HTML or there's some HTML deep in there. Um, and so this website, actually all of the HTML that makes up this website is here in this index, in this index.html file. Um, and so the, oops, um, I'll turn that off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you'll see uh, this top section here, the head is kind of where files get imported into, into the HTML. Um, and again, don't worry too much about this. I'm just explaining a little bit. Um, this is sort of like background info for the browser. And then this part where, where it says body down to the other part where it says body is kind of all of what you see on the screen. And so um, in, in HTML, everything, all of the kind of labels for things are separated by these angled, I forget what they're called, angled bracket thingies, <laughs> um, um, like, like sideways Vs. Um, and so here you see audio and there's, uh, um, it's separated by these Vs. Um, and here we have a canvas element, which is the canvas element is where all the um, images and videos appear. And then here we have this uh, div, a div element. Um, so it's kind of, there's a thing in Glitch where if you click on, like let's say I click on this div here, another thing gets highlighted down here. And so everything that's between those two um, elements, where it, the first time where it says div and the second time where it says div, that all refers to sort of a single section or a single subsection. And in HTML, you can have like little elements inside other elements inside other elements. But uh, without going too deep in this, which is to say you could customize this page as much as you want, but today we're just going to um, customize uh, the text that you see here. So um, if I go to where it says uh, H1, you'll see, you'll see this is highlighted and this is highlighted. Um, and so this is a heading that refers to the title of the page um, where it says DIY interactive music video. And so what I could do is highlight the text DIY interactive music video, and maybe I will change it to say something else. So um, I'm going to call my thing cats or cats. Actually, maybe I don't have a cactus video anymore. I thought I did, but anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll just call it my my amazing video. And so you'll see, actually, it automatically refreshes the page. And now over here, it says my amazing video. Um, and so uh, I can also change the text that's in the description. So, um, um, with a description. So, um, here we have my video and a description and here where there's, here's the name of the track. So there's some text that plays when, um, everything's, pause and there's other text that plays sort of when um when the video is playing um and so uh and that text appears at the top so uh here you can add the track name so if you change that text it will change the track name 